Hey guys, Spencer at Z1. Today we're taking a look at our newest offering for the 350Z and G35s equipped with a VQ35DE engine. It's our Sport Supercharger Kit. You may be familiar with our current Supercharger Kit offerings. They feature the C38R. We offer those in a tuner configuration or a complete kit configuration, uh, which would come with fueling, fuel return, uh, everything you need to kind of get going to hit these target numbers that are typical. On the C3881 kit, the Sport kit, we're going to be doing similar offerings. You can get it as a tuner kit or you can get it as a complete package. Uh, power that's typical to expect with this is going to start around 375 and go up to about 475. Uh, the really nice thing about these kits are that they are built with all the same brackets, auto tensioner, you get belts, our mandrel bit piping, reservoirs, uh, filters, coolers, all the things you need. You get our 17 row air to air intercooler. Uh, which is a bar and plate, very efficient. Um, and it really comes down to this. The main difference in the kits, aside from the head units, is going to be the inlet and the intake filter. So, uh, installs on the C3881, the sport kit is a little bit easier. You got a little less trimming, you got a little easier clearance there uh, around the front of the bumper behind. Um, so, that's like a nice plus if you're doing the install. It also has a really big change in the dynamic of the drive. So, where the C3881 will make a lot of boost, it's a very efficient supercharger. Um, as you get up in the band, it can be a little bit of a handful, especially as you're in and out of the throttle, whether that's on a road course, your favorite uh, canyon drive, or if you're drifting. Um, the 81 is actually, you know, our team drifter's favorite. He likes the control he has when he's in and out of the power. And it, it makes the car easier to control. So you're up about four or 5,000 RPM. The 81 is quite a bit easier on the drive for him and he enjoys it more, which is nice. This kit is a little bit lighter and the rotational resistance, that inertia that it has is a bit lower. And that's where you notice that. We can't show you that on a dyno graph, but when you get behind the seat in these vehicles, you really feel it. It's an excellent, excellent drive. So the sport kit uh, available now, very nice kit. Uh, if you have questions on it, what's right for you, what, it, what helps you achieve the goals you're looking for, feel free to reach out to our team. Long-term planner, if you're like me, you may have those questions of, can I get a sport kit and upgrade it to an R kit later? Yes, you can. You just reach out to our team and they can set you up with the appropriate parts to get you swapped in on the bracket you have with the piping you have, right intake parts and everything to make that upgrade. So maybe you get into the game, you enjoy it for a while, you master it, you continue to develop the car, you decide I'm building the motor and going for more, easy step to make, no big deal. So appreciate you guys tuning in on this one. If you have questions about these kits, you want to see more from us, chime in, shoot us a message, give our team a call. We're here for you. If you need this or anything else for your Z or G, be sure to hit C1Motorsports.com.